Hello friends, hope everyone's doing well. So today we're playing as a clown. I got a nice suggestion from, I hope I'm saying your name right, Kevin Grissler. I really hope I'm saying your name right. I do apologize if I am not, but uh, I'm still sick, um, so, um, but it is what it is. I still want to get content for, for you guys, and I hope that this is at least an enjoyable video. I hope that my my commentary isn't too lackluster. This is a very solid trial overall, and I kind of forget to really talk most of the time. At least in my mind, I don't remember talking at all, so I really hope that I'm not just silent the whole time. If I am, I do apologize. Far as but pretty well in this one, as you see, we get sent to Ormond, so, um, which is fine. I actually really do like Mount Ormond. Uh, it's kind of a weird uh, situation. I played Mount Ormond a lot back then. Uh, my first ever video on Mount Ormond was a Demogorgon one, and uh, I did not do too well. Um, but I, I've come to love Ormond. Well, it depends on who I'm playing as. Uh, I've gotten over the hatred of that map, and uh, I know it very well, so it's very helpful to me when it comes to that. But anyway, this fire has been pretty well. It's a fun trial overall. All right, let's get into our build. So the suggested build we're bringing today is Surge, Pop Goes Weasel, Ultimate Weapon, and Brutal Strength. So first off, Surge, any single time we down a survivor with a basic attack within 32 meter range, if a generator is within that range, it will lose 8% of its progress, and then regress normally after that. If a survivor is working on that generator, they will scream. It's good information, and it's a good regression perk. Next we have Pop, one of my favorite ones. After hooking a survivor, we have 45 seconds of Pop Goes Weasel being active for. In those 45 seconds, the next generator we kick will instantly lose 30% of its progress, then regress normally after that. Very strong uh, regression perk. Honestly, it's one of my favorite ones. I, I I do use this one a lot. It's one of my favorite ones. I probably should use something else, but I really do like Pop a lot. It's a very strong perk. Surge and Pop can counter each other, so do be careful about that, but um, Pop is usually good if you know that a survivor is working on a generator across the map, which is pretty good for Mount Ormond because it is a big map, and we actually manage to use Pop pretty well. The times we do use it are uh, very helpful. Pop goes Weasel can be argued that it can actually go with our next perk, Ultimate Weapon. Any single time you open a locker for the next 30 seconds, if a survivor goes inside your terror radius, they will scream and it'll be afflicted with blindness for 30 seconds. Also, the position will be revealed to you, and the perk will go on cooldown after those 30 seconds is up. This is a very strong perk. It is, it is so strong to the point where survivors are bringing Calm Spirit, and luckily nobody brought that one this trial, but uh, it, is, it is a very strong perk. It basically just tells you where survivors are consistently. It, it's, it's as if you have a... Uh, it's like you have a Doctor's Blast every minute, so honestly, it is a Doctor's Blast at that point. So uh, yeah, it's, it's honestly a very strong perk. And uh, with Ultimate Weapon and Pop, the reason why I say these go together is because if you hear Ultimate Weapon go off, you know that the Surge went off on that generator, but you know the Survivor's still over there, you can go over there with Pop and harass him with that, harass that generator with Pop, making it aggressive even more. So these two perks can actually work really well together. And finally, we have Brutal Strength. Any single time we kick a pallet, a breakable wall, or a generator, we do it 20% faster. Clown can use this very well with his yellow bottle, so if you manage to use yellow bottle and use brutal at the same time, you're faster, and also you get through the pallet as if it's nothing. Brutal and Clown can be very good too, which you can also slot on the survivor by throwing a, a, a pink bottle at them, slow them down, break it, and then you're able to catch back up to them relatively quickly. And also Brutal Strength can also help out with Pop Goes a Weasel. And whenever you kick a generator when Pop is active, Brutal Strength will also help out with that, so these perks work really well together. So those are our perks. Very strong build. With that being said, let's talk about our add-ons. As told, the add-ons we're bringing today is the Kerosene Can and the Flask of Bleach. Kerosene Can, any single time that you intoxicate a survivor, they inflict them with blindness for 30 seconds, and whenever you intoxicate a survivor, they'll be hindered by additional 4%. Very strong green. If the Pinky Finger or the Cheap Gin Bottle was not in the Clown's kit, I would definitely say that the Flask of Bleach is the strongest add-on for him, but the Flask of Bleach plus the Cheap Gin Bottle and the Pinky Finger are all monsters in themselves. So the Clown could be very mean with his add-ons, which is very nice because the Clown's add-ons used to be completely nothing back then, so it's very nice to actually have them be worth something. I do give my opinion of these perks at the end of the trial, so stay tuned for that. But uh, just by looking at it, it's a very strong build. You have good regression, you have good information, and you have good uh, pressure, I should say. Regression, Pop Goes a Weasel Surge, Ultimate Weapon you can use for information, and Brutal Strength can also be used for pressure. So yeah, overall, very solid build. I want to thank you, Kevin, for the suggestion again. I really hope everyone enjoys. And again, I want to thank you so much for watching. Alrighty, Mount Ormond Resort. Uh, I'm pretty sure the clown is cold out here, because I sure am. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's alright. I still have a cold, so I'm hoping that my voice isn't too annoying and too nasally. But, uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Suggested build, I'm kind of hoping this works out pretty well. But we shall see. I didn't really want to send myself to a map because I'm not a big fan of sending uh, survivors to maps. I heard somebody. Right? Hi. I say I thought I heard somebody. I did hear somebody behind me as well. Hi, Feng. How are you doing this fine evening? That was a direct hit. <laughs> and definitely the flask is going to help us out a lot when it comes to just hitting survivors with our, with our pink gas. I should have thrown out. Actually, she, she left it. She bolted it? Nope. Uh, she will be going down here. Good surge on that. We know where Nancy is. Somebody's down there. Salvo? 
Okay. Nancy. Let's go this way. I don't know if she has a salvo or not, and I don't want to attempt it. Good try, though. I'm getting popped this. Alright, let's reload. Give some things some progress on her unhooking herself, but that's alright. Um, that's locker. Interesting. What's the purpose of this, Nancy? Ooh, that slow bolt kind of hurt you there a little bit. Ooh, it's really helping she bolt back. Good job on them for working on gens while we're busy. Yeah. Which way does she go? Ooh, good stun. But kind of funny she wasted her, uh... I don't know where. Oh, yep. Let's just say I don't know where the the window is on the sloop. It'd be kind of funny if she wasted her firecracker there. I think I think she has a firecracker. Well done, Nancy. Keep us busy for a little bit. Uh, they just got thing off the hook. I believe that was might have been Ace, unless it was Nancy. If it was, I'm kind of hoping it is, so we can chase her. I don't think I'll be getting any progress from our search there, which is fine. That was yeah, that was Ace. Hello, friend. We do need to reload. Um. Way did Ace go? Uh, he made distance. Very smart. Run back to the corner. Some progress on this gen. There's some. This is Nancy. Let's chase her. Uh, where did she go? I think this will be a hit. Good try, Nancy. I get surge on that. All right, let's pick up. Hold the hook here. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back to where we found Fang and Ace together. Let's see if that gen's still being welcome. I will reload in just a moment. Uh, Nancy, dig it off the hook. Okay, I see. Uh, still popped. This gen has a little bit of progress. Let's go ahead and kick it. Uh, they healed underneath the hook. I'm assuming. Yes, they did. Little thing. Let's chase her again. I would like to chase the ace, but we may not be so lucky. Oh, good job, Fang. Good job for keep continuing to run. I was gonna say, uh, say I didn't hope I didn't lose you that easily. Hit her with the bottle so we can still bolt. I have completely lost her. That's all two weapons for. Uh, somebody is her too. Good job. Good thing. Let's break this. We're out of bottles. Does she know that? She bolted it. Ooh, I think this will be a hit. Good try. Got a good search on that. We left uh, Ace and... Oh, hi. That was really good, Nancy. Good job. That was really good. Well done. Good job to the other two. Ooh, I mis missed uh, input there for a second. Sorry. Right. Well done, Fang. Let's go and break it. I am wasting so much time on Fang. Good job, Fang. Dang. Okay, I, I'm, I need to leave her. Yeah, I wasted way too much time on her. That's very bad, because we don't know which ends are being worked on now. This one is still being worked on. Yeah, I'm not too happy with that save there, Nancy. But you did a good job, though. Well, that worked out. Both gens got surged. Which is kind of bad, because we can't really use our pop here, but that's alright. We're going to use ultimate weapon right here, just so we can figure out what people are. I'm going to go to main building. Actually, 
she things over here. She got healed. Is it regressing? I can't tell. Yeah, that's not that really sucks. Waste some time doing that. There's the ace. He's over there. Ooh, she lost her speed boost from that. He also missed a skill check, which is good too. Let's kick it. I will say we do really need a uh, a fifth bottle, but that's alright. Always. You going to that window that everyone likes? Alright. No balance. I think this will be a hit. Ooh, it was not. That's okay. He's gonna finish this gen, but we don't have much of a choice because that gen over there is what's get finished. Nancy's still. Yep. Is the injured one? I need a chaser. I'll take it. That was really bad on their part. I don't know how I get think it's done there. She's that way. Ooh, I think that hesitation might have been hit. That was perfect. That was really bad for them. It's kind of funny, they both look exactly the same, so I don't know which one's which. Turn around, because Fang's right there. I want to give her a free, free, free flashy. Ooh, my gosh. Background player. Reload. Well played, Nancy. She doesn't have it again, so we can pick up. Facing this way. Who's out on a pop? That's fine. Ace, I'm assuming he's still in the gen back there. This one has a lot of progress we can hook here. And pop. Okay. Let's find Fang. And there she is. Let's find Ace. Make him scream. I think we're going to him. This is some gen progress. No balance. This will be a down, I think. Yep. Pick up facing this way. Ace needs to step up, because he's, he's they're in a very bad spot now, and that's not what she should have done. Okay, we know where he is. Oh, it's already, it's already out. My bad. We have no reason to leave. He's coming around the back. There he is. I think we'll go for the rescue, so I'm not worried about him. She does have her background player, so I have an idea. Or is she... I think she made some distance. I'm a little bit worried. Nope, she didn't decide not to come back. Alright, boil over on Ace. I saw this first time we're hooking you. Alright. With the weapon, let's figure out where she is. She did go this way. She could be in a locker, which uh, does protect you from ultimate weapon, if you did not know. Ultimate weapon is about to end. That's where they both are. Just the thing. I don't want her to go left. She won't make it. Also, we'll no races because of this. An ultimate weapon is still on cooldown. Never mind. Oh, that's crap. Uh, over here. Ace is trying to heal himself. That's what that missed skill check was. Did she get out? No. God, there's a hook there. This map is being reworked very soon, so I'm kind of not looking forward to that, because I know this map pretty well. At least now I do. 
There it is. Hopefully stop them from healing for a second. Sorry, buddy. I would love to give you hatch, but I don't like being set to maps. My apologies. But well played to you, my friend. I do apologize, but I don't. You send me the maps, I don't play nice. For all I know, they all could have been friends. For all I know, they couldn't have been. But either way, well played to everyone. I think I won played very well in this trial. And uh, sorry if I didn't say well played to the Nancy and the Fang. I was very, very focused. But that was fun. Honestly, I can see how this build. Why people? Uh, sorry, why my friend suggested me this build. Or I should say a comment term, so I apologize. I do count everyone as my friends, but we know we're not actual friends in real life. You know, the whole uh, difference between content creator and personal. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's see. Nancy, we did see her flashbang. See, both Nancys have flashbangs. Um, she went on spin burst. I don't think we saw this. <coughs> Good to have empathy with this. Very smart. Um, very cool, just in case she got slugged. We, did, we slugged one of them at one point, but I guess we picked them both up relatively quickly. Ace had the, um, the flop build. Uh, plus, uh, Windows. Um, Fang, we did see her background player, no clue about Lightfoot, and, uh, Fixated. Usually, uh, usually people who bring exhaustion perks like Spin Burst or background player will bring Fixated, which is smart. I do understand the reasoning for bringing it. And, uh, Empathy as well. This is a very, a team that really wanted to take care of themselves. Also, it is very ironic that the person who sent this here died first. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, I do find that a little funny. But, yeah, I think our, this is a pretty solid build. Um, I think Ultimate Weapon, I kind of forgot that I had in the beginning a little bit, but um, I did remember it near the middle, so I'm very happy I remember that is sooner than later, because I do forget I have Ultimate Weapon a lot, which is a problem. Um, but uh, yeah, our add-ons did amazing, I think they bought a lot. I think we maybe can switch out this one for maybe um, one of the uh, add-ons that increases the bottle count, because I think adding more bottles on top of this would be extremely strong, but... I really do like this build a lot. Um, Surge and Pop work really well together, but I think we got more value out of Surge and Endure Pop, so maybe you can change Pop out with another perk, but um, maybe Enduring, or uh, maybe even Spirit Fury. Even by its own, you can throw a bottle, use Spirit Fury, and by the time you're they're, they're kind of realizing what's going on, they're still slowed down by the uh, by your bottle, so just my thoughts. But I do like this build a lot, and it was a lot of fun. Again, thank you for suggesting it. I really do appreciate it, and I really hope everyone enjoyed. Yeah, well played to everyone. Oh, that was, that was a good run. Well, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this one. I think this is a very fun trial. I think when we started chasing Fang for a bit too long, I think we got, uh, that was a very scary moment, because, um, for all we knew, that they were working on all the gens on the other side of the map, which could have ended up in a pretty bad 3-gen for them, so that's something to always keep in mind as well. But, uh, I think when Nancy went for the flashbang save, I feel like they were trying to help out more than they were doing generators, which is fine, I completely understand. All of them played well, it was a very fun trial. Our perks definitely helped us out a lot. I really do think without Surge and Ultimate Weapon, I think it would have been a lot more difficult. We used uh, Brutal Strength to a certain degree, but um, Ormond has some pretty decent pallets where you're able just to, you know, walk around, especially with the Clown, you're able to do that, so wasn't able to showcase Brutal off too well, but I think Pop is definitely something you could change out. I still, it's still, we still got some really good use out of it, don't get me wrong. The times we did use it were very necessary. But yeah, it, it was a very good trial. I had a lot of fun. Very, uh, heart pumping. I honestly, I don't remember anything I said during the trial, so I really hope that it was coherent and actually was talking about what I was saying, because I really do apologize if, if, uh, if it was just ramblings, because, um, again, I'm still sick and I was not paying attention at all to really my diet, my, um, what's the word? Yeah, dialogue's the correct word. Yeah, my dialogue. So I, I do apologize if it was, um, not. My, my commentary, that's the word. My commentary wasn't too enjoyable to watch, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it either way. And again, I want to thank, I really hope I'm saying your name right, Kevin Grissler. Again, I really hope I'm saying your name right. I apologize if I'm not, but um, I'll just refer to you as Kevin from now. I uh, appreciate you, Kevin. Honestly, this is a very fun build. I really do appreciate it. Again, what I said about the uh, the add-on change, uh, switching the um, the can. But I better I'll just show you. This is my idea of how you can make this build even stronger, and I actually am going to run this. I'm going to try this for a trial and see how this goes. But um, I really do like your build. Don't get me wrong; it was really good, and I really hope I'm not, you know, kind of just saying what I that what you're doing is wrong. What if it works for you? I will always say this for everyone: if perks work for you, then that's amazing. Then never change your build for anything, unless you think it could be adjusted or if you want to try something different. But yeah, your build was really good, but this is the one I would I would choose to use. The perks I switch out for um, Pop Goes Weasel Rap Brutality, and then I also switch out the uh, the can for the cheap gin bottle, just so you're able to get more bottles. Over either way, even if you use this one or the other one, they both work out really well, especially for the clown. So again, I really do appreciate you uh 
leaving a comment and for the suggestion because this was a lot of fun and I really do like playing as a clown. I wouldn't say he's my favorite, but I, I definitely do know him very well. He's very he's in the top three, I would say. Uh, Sadako, Pyramid Head, Clown. I guarantee that ch the list changes every day, but I do apologize if I'm not consistent with that, or if I'm consistent with that, but I will say that Clown is up there as well. Um, all right, I've been rambling for long enough. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Kevin, for the suggestion. I really do appreciate you. Again, apologies if I, you know, my commentary sucked or if, uh, or if I was very hard to, uh, listen to. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I try to post four times a week. Usually I'm not sick, um, but the next couple of videos I most likely will be, so, uh, Either way, be on looking for those. I hope this wasn't too annoying. Uh, but again, thank you everyone. Appreciate all of you. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Help support the channel. Check out my Instagram. Link in the description. I just post updates on there whenever I'm uploading. Thanks again, everyone. And I hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there, friends.